It's picked up. There's no excuse for just almost slapping the darts now. Well, he's clearly annoyed with himself. The way the darts are going in is... What's, what's this about? Well, Adrian Lewis just showed us the problem. And James Wade is reacted. I think Adrian's saying it's the same for both players. If there's a, a ball that's not right there. It is the same for both players if they were both Adrian Lewis's size. And this is the problem, I think. I, I just think that with the way the game's gone, James Wade is under pressure. He's moaning more now than he was at the start. And I just think it, it's a touch of sour grapes. And he's suggesting that Bruce Bentley, Adrian's trying it now because he got away with it earlier. Why would Adrian Lewis be trying mind games right now? Because he has the win in the palm of his hand. If there's any point in this match, he doesn't need to play mind games. It's right now. And he requires 78. We're to end a controversial match here with Lewis moving up to third and place. And the match. And There'll be no, no handshakes hardly. He has been in with the referee Bruce Spendley. We've tried to cover it, me and Wayne Martel. What area will we be talking about? We'll be talking about just by the hockey, Adrian Lewis, not happy, but he got the win, puts him in third place. Coming up next, the one and only 15-time champion of the world, Villa Pawatila. Well, Adrian's uh, joined us. Adrian, first of all, congratulations. Congratulations on the fight back, first Thank of all. You, yeah. Uh, I thought, in all fairness tonight, I thought it was a better player. I thought he outscored him here on there. I could have gone at the break. Um, we'll come obviously 4-2 down. But I tell you now, I never did nothing wrong. Well, there seemed to be problems from early on in the match. Just, just talk us through what was, what was happening here. A little bit of chat between the two of you. You went in the, the restricted zone. I tell you what was happening was that uh, way he thought I was um, standing on the, on the floorboard, standing with my feet. But if you look here now, Rod standing on it there now. There's a raised, there's a raised floorboard. I've got walk off this side here. I cannot be on the black port, otherwise I've got a fine. I've walked around it and so got booed. You know, I don't know what I've done wrong. I've done nothing. Rod Harrington's here. Rod, just just looking at the area Adrian's talking about. There is a little bit of a raised floorboard there. <laughs> what has happened, Dave? You, you've got a a popped floorboard which sometimes happened on a wooden surface and you can actually see the, the raised bit there and it's sometimes like Aidy's a big guy and will step on it when he what, you it, stand there you stand there on the hockey stand there on the hockey right you walk on tell me if you can feel anything you can feel you can feel it walking there no question yeah yeah you can you can feel it walking there Adrian, there's always, there's always a little bit of needle between you and James Wade, but Rod Harrington is standing by you there. That there is there is a bit of movement, and you, and you could feel it. Also, Dave, Dave. Barney, Barney in the press room said him and Kevin could feel it as well. I mean, it happens sometimes, and you can actually see. I think the Peter, right, I thought it was a bit of an excuse when I come up for him in the second half, because yeah. he didn't start moaning about it the first half when he was winning. That's all I can say on the matter. Rod. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely feel it. Um, so, something's happened there, and you can't foresee that it's going to happen, but it happened. But that's just the way it is, you know. Sometimes you just get on with it, you know. When you're winning, you don't. Feel I just it say, I've never ever don't. cheat for winning a match, and I saw my daughter's life. I've never ever do that. I don't need to do that. I believe in my own ability, Dave. Right? There's no way I deserve it to cheat. I don't do that. Listen, you showed your ability there. 57% average, 104.7 three dot average, 57% on the doubles. You showed your class under a lot of pressure. Of course, yeah. I mean, I knew how to win tonight. But I won't go to the extreme. But cheating, I never ever do that in my life. 
and we're not only smart, any of the door players, obviously, except for waiting tonight, because obviously you thought I was cheating or whatever. But, uh, Listen, you, you've got a week off next week, you can regather your thoughts and, and get ready to face Phil Taylor in, in Bournemouth. Obviously it's going to be a tough game against Phil, he's playing the best off probably now he's ever played, but uh, I've got to go up there and believe in my own ability again and have a good go, you know. Adrian, we'll let you get off stage, you're getting a, a bit of stick from the it's crowd. You know? <laughs> Congratulations on the victory, coming up next, it's hammer time.